What is up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. If you guys are enjoying the videos, show me by hitting that like button. It lets me know and it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. Speaking of hitting that sub button, we recently hit 15K on the channel. So I wanna thank all you guys. I appreciate all the support. That's what keeps giving me the motivation to keep making these videos for you guys. So since we hit 15K, I will be giving away that graffiti uh, Notre Dame snapback. In order to enter, all you have to do is like this video, drop a comment with your Instagram handle, that's how I do giveaways because uh, the YouTube message systems all messed up So I like to contact the people through Instagram and make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're following me on Instagram So that way if you do win I can contact you I'll keep the giveaway open for like a week or so and then I'll announce it like in a future video So if you guys are interested in winning that hat just do all that stuff and you're entered to win I'm actually here in front of the thrift store now. So let's go see what we can find this week I have this pair of vapor flies, but these things are destroyed and they still want $20 for them That's like around the time I lost interest in LeBron's to be honest the long sleeve Kappa Italia tee, or tee, polo, $3.99. You got Italia spelled out on the chest, Kappa, and on the back you got uh, whatever that says. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not too bad for 4 bucks. And then I also found this Nike windbreaker right here. They want $6.99 as is. The reason why it's as is, is on the back. You do have this big stain right there. But other than that, it's not too bad. Oh my god, Yeezy's at the thrift store? <laughs> I was playing guys. These things are like super fake. I don't know if you guys can see how bad the quality is on all of these. These are way better than the ones are, but it's still super fake. They also have this pair of Air Forces right here, but these are also fake. Like, they feel like cardboard for 10 bucks. I know this colorway did actually come out, but that's a fake pair. And then there's also a pair of uh, PGs, but other than that, not really too much other than those fake Yeezys. <laughs> Here's this Logo Athletic Dallas Stars Brett Hole jersey. It su kind of sucks that it's all screen printed. It's 2X, they want $13 for it. But it's actually still pretty clean. But like I said, you can see it's all screen printed. So I'm not too sure about it on that one yet. The Batman Arkham Knight tee on the front. I'm assuming that's the Riddler since there's like question marks around it, but I could be wrong. I haven't played a Batman game since Arkham Asylum. But that one's XL for $3.99. What do you guys think? $1.99? <laughs> Should I cop the Donald Trump the Mountain tee? Found this single stitch Georgia Powerball tee. I just thought it was kind of cool. XL $1.99 on the Hanes tag. Still pretty clean for it to be a white tee. Here's this uh, Casino Magic Stripe tee, $2.99. Nothing crazy, but I just thought it was kind of cool. The Enjoy tee, size XL for $1.99. I might actually just pick this one up for personal wear, to be honest. I found not one, but two Maxwell tees. <laughs> This one on the all sport tag, size XL, that one's $3.99. And then this one is $2.99, size XL. On the brown one you have now Maxwell on the front. And then you have like his uh, album track list. And then on the all sport one, you have him on the front in the rain, pretty dramatic. On the back, you got Maxwell spelled out. So we're gonna have to pick both of those up for sure. Found a couple pair of Air Maxes. We got the triple black Air Max 95. These things are pretty dirty, but as far as like condition, they just look like they need a good cleaning. No laces. Uh, they want $6.99 for those. And then a pair of uh, Air Max 98s in the uh, Tor Yellow colorway for $25. And again, just like those, these need a good cleaning. Size 11 and a half on these and size 12 on those. Also found the Ice Kirby for $1.99, so you know I gotta pick that up. <laughs> Ice Kirby brought good luck in the gaming department, I guess, because we got a copy of NCAA 13 for $2.99 and a copy of Fight Night Champion for $2.99. Found two more tees. We got for a dollar ninety-five size large. It's Exhumed, I guess that's their name. Um, I guess it's like a metal band. You got their name spelled out on the front and then on the back you have Decrypt, Defile, Destroy. And then the other one I found is this uh, 1999 Nolan Ryan retirement shirt. And that one's on an old Hanes tag for $1.49 size XL. Probably gonna scoop this one up uh, for personal wear, honestly. Nothing on the back. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure, but isn't this B-Stars? <laughs> I think, I mean, that's how the main character looks, right? $2.99? I don't know. I've never watched it. I don't plan on watching it, to be honest. The 2006 Jimmy Buffett Tour T. If it wasn't so big, it's a 3XL. If it was an XL, I'd get it for personal wear, because I really do like the graphic on it. And then there's the back graphic. I found this Lion King shirt. They want $1.99 for it. It is a newer one, but if it was my size, I'd wear it. I actually really like this one. And then I found this Mountain T right here, size 2XL for $2.99. It's like the solar system, pretty cool. Oh. 
$1.99. We got the Xbox E, size large. Um, but other than the little logo on the chest, there's like nothing else. But it looks like it's still brand new, like it's never been worn. Who remembers playing these in uh, elementary school? <laughs> it was right here next to Jesus. No one can react for 20 bucks. Size 11 though, if they were one size smaller, I would've got these, just to beat up. Here's a nice pair of Air Maxes too, right next to them. They want 25 bucks for them. Toe pretty stained up. I don't know, what do you guys think for 25 bucks? That shouldn't be too bad to get out. Found this uh, Minnesota Wild Logo Athletic Snapback. I guess somebody was trying to hide it so they can come back and get it later. Cause it was like stuffed inside of another hat. I guess they didn't want to pay the 399 for it, but. I'm gonna go ahead and pay the $3.99 for it. Black History Month 2's, size 5.5Y for 40 bucks. Still super clean though. Who remembers Air Hogs? <laughs> like I remember seeing the commercial for these whenever I used to watch like Pokemon and stuff on like WB growing up. And I always wanted one. I want five bucks for it, but it's still cool because it's in the box and everything. It is open, but I looked in there and it looks like all the pieces are there. Like this is just one of those toys that screams. 90s to me they're probably gonna go ahead and uh, scoop that one up so i was looking at these new balances right i wanted to see how much they were but there's no price on them one that's one flaw two all the shoes here if you look and see they're like all zip tied together and these aren't <laughs> so that's flaw number two and then number three look at the bottoms so i'm pretty sure somebody came in here and changed their shoes and left their old ones uh yeah don't know what they're gonna do about that found the lion king bed skirt I'm pretty sure it's a twin one, $1.99. It looks really clean too. I don't know if somebody would be interested in something like that. A couple of NCAA Final Four tees for $4.99. They're both brand new with tags from 2018, so not too old. And then I found this Sturgis 2015 uh, 25th anniversary tee, $1.49 size XL. I saw the front and I was just like, eh, whatever. But then I turned it around and it has the same graphic, but like really big. So I don't know, I might pick that one up and see if anybody's interested in it. The vintage garage sale goddess. $1.99 size XL. Found this Carhartt jacket. It's $4.99 as is. The only thing that I can find wrong with it is that stain right there on the elbow. I mean, other than like it looked like it has like a fade to it. Size XL for five bucks. Insert farting noise now. Found this Polo Sport like long sleeve thermal. It's only 95 cents. Um, I might pick it up. On the back you have the uh, Ridgeway Colorado. So, I don't know. Can't really beat 95 cents, I guess. Here's a liquid blue peace sign tee for $1.99 size large. Just one of those classic liquid blue designs, I guess. The World Heavyweight Champion. A pair of KD7s. I thought these were like a Nike ID or something. Because I don't remember seeing this colorway, but I guess it's an actual colorway. What is it, like 4th of July, I guess? $3.99, but look at that. <laughs> Found this 49ers uh, like V-neck by Lee Sports Size XL. They want 6 bucks for it, though. I mean, it looks like it's brand new. The 49ers all embroidered on the front. Then you got 49ers embroidered on the left sleeve. I don't know if I want to pay six bucks for it though. $1.99, we got the Logo 7 Denver Broncos tee. Broncos embroidered on the front. It does have a tiny hole right there, but it's a size 3XL. Found the 1988 Notre Dame National Champions crew neck. These have the little tiny embroidery 2XL for $2.99. Best console of all time. We got the Hamilton World Series Texas Ranger jersey. That one's a size large. They want $8.99 for it. Here in the kids section, I found a pair of the Olympic Jordan 1s. Who remembers these? I remember really wanting these in high school. They only want five bucks, but they're a size four and a half wide, which sucks though. They could use a good cleaning. I remember I got a pair of these on Mercari not too long ago for like 20 bucks, but I got rid of them because they didn't fit the greatest. But if I can come across this pair in my size for a decent price, definitely one I would like to add to my collection. For $2.99, I found the Uniqlo Keith Herrig tee. It's a size XL. It just has a little art right there on the pocket. It's like a off-white, cream-white color. Found this Nike track jacket. They want like 20 bucks for it though. Pretty cool. Comes with a pin in the pocket. And then a little bit farther down, we got a vintage Reebok windbreaker size medium. It's like an olive green. And then coming down even a little farther, Nike um, windbreaker pullover. They want 20 bucks. Prices are a little outrageous here. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I don't like that he has Sonic eyes. We got the All Might tee, but they want six bucks for it though. I found this vintage single stitch like Coyote tee. I was gonna get it because it's my size. I really like the graphic and the colors and stuff on it. 
but they're asking seven bucks for it, which I don't know. I'm picking it, if I were to pick it up in my own collection, I guess it's not that bad, but I don't know. Just thinking that at the other stores, I couldn't get this shirt probably for like 95 cents to $1.99. In the hat section, found one for the personal, the Super Bowl 28 snapback from 1994. That one's by a competitor. It is a little dirty, needs a little work, but it's only two bucks, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one. So that's gonna bring us to the end of this week's trips to the thrift. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe down below, and drop a comment, and enter the giveaway for the hat if you guys are interested in that, and I will see you guys next week with another video, so later. I'm a chef, chef too. I post my